Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Dawn. I have a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas here. I've got a big yogurt cup as my flip cup. And over here I have at the top metallic blue, turquoise, no that's not turquoise, that's bright aqua green. This is Prussian blue hue, this is turquoise, and this is metallic cobalt blue. And some white, and I'm going to do this video a little bit differently because I'm going to do it in stages because I cannot hang my camera high enough to not have it in the way when I tilt. So, if you can bear with me, we will just, well, we'll just do it this way. And hopefully, all will go well. So yes, I'm building a flip cup here. Need about 14 to 16 ounces of paint, so we're going to start with the white. This is metallic cobalt blue with a little bit of silicone in it. And then we're going to go on to this blue, which also has a little bit of silicone in it. I was inspired to do a waterscape today. Mainly because I gave away my favorite waterscape to a good friend who is moving on to a new job. And she has her own office, and I thought she should have something nice to hang in it. So, as I was looking through my collection, it's like, I don't seem to have very many waterscapes anymore. So, I am going to pour a new one. Oh, see the cells happening in there already? Kind of cool. This is the metallic blue. So yeah, I've got lots of blues and some white and some bluey greens. And hopefully this will make for a really, really nice pour. I only put silicone in half the colors, just a drop or two. My thoughts behind that were, if I poured from up high, the silicone would mix as I'm pouring here. And hopefully we'll get many, many shades of blues and whites and greens and hopefully some really incredible cell action. Gosh, that's a lot of paint. I might have made more than I need. Raise your hand if you've ever done that. <laughs> okay. And I didn't show you before I did this, but if you've seen my video on the airbrushed puddle pour disaster, you'll see that, wow, my table here, my tablecloth is still pretty messy. So I figured, well, this is a big canvas and I'm just going to pour on the table and I can change all that out afterwards because, quite frankly, it needs to be changed out. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep layering these colors in. Like, how can you go wrong with blues and greens? Aren't they everybody's favorite colors? Who doesn't love a waterscape, right? Getting low on the light, so I'm going to save some for up top. And more metallic cobalt blue. Oh goodness, I think this is probably more paint than I need, but the upside is that I can always do a scoop pour after the fact. So I am going to try to get some more of this white out. I'm going to let the paint sit and do its thing in this big yogurt cup, and then I will be right back to show you the flip. 
Okay, I'm back. I flipped the cup and I walked away for, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes, made a coffee. And now I'm going to flip this cup over and then I'll let the paint do what it wants to do. And then I'm going to tilt it off camera and I will come back and show you the end result. So I'm hoping everything that the silicone wants to do, it's already done. And so we're just going to go in. <laughs> Let her rip, I guess. Ooh. Aren't those pretty colors there? Wow. I'm just going to bring you in for a close-up because there's all kinds of cell action happening. I'm not even going to hit it with a torch before I tilt. But I am going to let it sit for maybe another five or seven minutes just for gravity to work on it and spread it out before I start tilting. So I will come back and show you how it turns out after I tilt it and after I finish my coffee. I'll see you soon. See how much the paint spread after leaving it for about 10 minutes? So now I'm gonna tilt and I'll show you the end result. I just, I can't hold the camera and tilt this big a canvas, which is why I am filming this way. I'll be back soon. And here is the finished painting. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. We've got a nice mix of both large cells and smaller cells. Looks like bubbles and waves and ripples on the water. I love these blues and greens together. They always make for such a pretty painting. I'll be back with the still so you can get a better look, hopefully without the glare. Be right back. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Before you go, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.